Hey, welcome back to more Let It Die. Let's continue where we stopped. So, we're gonna have a little different setup today. Let's see, we've been working with the Bronson Magnum. Thank you for coming. Please the stay here. The M2G87, the Kamas rifle. Going up. And today we're going to add Black Thunder's Medusa head, or head of Medusa. You have a unique smell. Hmm, it's a nice smell. <laughs> for using this service all right today we're also going to be running the red bull de <laughs> did i say red bull <laughs> the raging bull decals so it's going to be a different kind of experience oh great our fighter is hungry yeah you can hear the stomach growling that's why our stamina is pretty low <clears throat> so we're going to be running the raging bull decals so we're going to have to by necessity we're going to have to take on a more stealthy approach. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is find a way to drop our health to about 15% to activate the um, the Raging Bolt. Now the Raging Bolts, <clears throat> the two Raging Bolts are gonna give us an extra, an extra 150% damage. No, 120% damage, actually. I'm not gonna bother taking the birdie because oh, the whole point of Raging Bull is to <clears throat> is to have only 15% health, and you can't have that if you're basically gonna be healing up. the Medusa head for this guy. Well, since our serial killer is like getting built up. have quite a lot of it. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'll take the bullet metal. Don't have a lot of that. And uh, in this section is when we're gonna we're gonna drop down a number of times just to drop just to bring our health to within 15%. That's where we want to be. Here, you know me. Yeah, that's damage I really didn't want to take, but uh oh, man. They can't see me. Are you blind or something? No! <laughs> Alright. So we've taken care of all that. Now the next thing we're going to do is, uh, well, let's strip down. And then we're going to drop down here until we get our health low enough. 
to activate uh, the raging bolt. One more drop, then we'll try to find a flame or something to drop the rest of our health safely. Um, because there is no way we'll survive two drops here. So one drop should bring us in the 1000 range. There actually. Our Raging Ball is active. Alright, stress up. Alright, now because we have two Raging Balls, by necessity the, the rest of this playthrough is going to have to be stealth. Because at this level, you can't survive even a single blow. Basically, if an enemy hits us once, we're going to die. So out of necessity, we're going to have to... We're going to have to play stealthily. The rest of... Let me see. First of all, where are we heading today? Let's take a look at the map. So last time... Uh, today we're finishing off at level 47 right there, which is Samino. So we're gonna go to Soku, Mayari, Kino, Kotu, and then <clears throat> we'll end at Samino. Let's just wait for him to turn around, because they have they can see you easily i guess that that's one of the things i like about let it die it's uh, really realistic like the enemies can see you from a distance which would be true in any sense of the word oh, no. if we miss a shot we're dead are going to be our nemesis in this playthrough because any shooter can kill us with just one shot so we're going to have to be super duper careful I think I'm going to wait here and see if he comes back I want to make sure it's not a shooter comes. <laughs> it says Tupac Shakur. I see he has a drill arm in one hand. And nothing else. <laughs> yeah. The Medusa had to care of him. As a rule of thumb, when I'm playing with um, Raging Bull, I always patrol with the Kamas, just so that we're able to react quickly to what, you know, whatever enemy may jump out at us. If it's a shooter, because if it's a shooter, we're basically dead. It's 
gonna be one shot, one kill for us because all if we take just one bullet, we're gonna die. Now down here is a trap room and I'm not messing with that with only 600 health. No, we want to go to Soku, so that's the wrong way. Let's go back down this way. Yeah, our fighter is hungry, so if I find a rat or mouse or whatever you call them, I'll eat it. Because it will only give us, like, maybe, what, 200 health. Which doesn't take us beyond the Raging Bull threshold. Here we go. Soko, we're gonna go to Mayari, Kino. Okay. Come on, Foxnick! No okay, it's not a shooter. <laughs> Let's send Medusa to take him out. Ugly bitch! <laughs> now, under normal circumstances, the Medusa will not one-shot a lot of enemies. Hold on. Yeah, I keep having to clear my throat. Um, under normal circumstances, the Medusa will not one-shot a lot of enemies, but we have the decals that are making that possible. Um, I'm... Joy, oh, crap. Crap, the crap. I'm not gonna reuse the Magnum. I'm going to use the Magnum a lot less than I usually do. Because right now... Because the Magnum is very risky. Yeah. Yeah, the Magnum is very risky when you're running Raging Ball because it's inaccurate. And it's inaccurate and it has a very long punish window, so if we miss a shot, we're dead. There's a mouse here somewhere. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. Let's see how much we get from it. Maybe 200? No, 100. So that's good enough. Our stamina should be back up to normal now. super careful and the reason I'm just uh, I'm crouching is because you're crouching <clears throat> when you crouch you silence your steps and you dramatically reduce your detection range okay two three hardcore haters and I'm pretty sure one of them is gonna be ranged Okay, we got a rocket launcher, hockey stick, and what does the third guy have on him? He's got a sword. Okay. Um, 
What do we do? Do I fire off a magnum round and draw the attention? Do I lob a grenade in? Do I lob a grenade in? I don't know. Because I don't want all three coming after me. Well, the grenade didn't even get there. The grenade did not get there. Okay, so that's not going to work. Rocket launcher is what I'm worried about the most. Because it can kill us easily. Alright, let's just run and hopefully only one. Only one will come for us. Good. I'm gonna back off. Let's head back here. Let's fight it out over here. I'm gonna take a few pops at his head. Got him. Yeah, the Magnum is very, very high risk now. I'll only use it in situations where I can safely use it. Sometimes when they come after you, they they can lurk nearby. So if you just come rushing back in, you'll be stunned. You'll get a nasty shock. Suck this down. This guy is the scariest. But uh, I guess we can take him right here. This is this calls for Medusa. Oh, she's out of resources. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's grab some space here. I think I can magnum him safely. forward to the new Killer7 Magnum. I'm excited for it. So let's go get the last hater and then we'll move on to the next floor. The last hater was a hockey stick, I believe. Since we're very squishy, I need a lot of room to maneuver. That's why we're running back up here, because there's a uh, good, good amount of room to maneuver in here. Damn it, come back here.
That's right, you better run. All right, let's uh, head up here real quickly. Shijima, no, that's not where we want to go. Uh, we're not up to the next floor. Let's take a break. We'll be right back.